I'm from eastern half of South Dakota, which is historically tall grass prairie. And, and how interesting it, it is that, that I didn't really discover the tall grass prairie until after I came back to Kansas. And the lady that bought, that, that provided the funds to purchase this, her name is Catherine Ordway, and she was the heir to the 3M fortune out of Minnesota. She donated the money to the Nature Conservancy, but not just for, to buy this place, but she also bought other prairie areas in the United States. And one of the places that she bought was in South Dakota, and I actually remember going there, and that was actually my first experience of walking on a true tall grass prairie was actually at the, the Ordway Prairie. And so how interesting is it to come back around to Kansa Prairie that was funded by the Ordway family. I've told somebody, and I truly believe it, that I have the world's best job because there's no typical day and everything is gonna be dependent on the weather and on who walks in the door or who drives up the driveway. It is something new and something different every day. And that's one of the really great things uh, and getting to work out here is really a privilege. So my audience is, is multiple. The primary audience are kids. You know, the K through 12 school groups are the, the primary audience and we wanna bring them out here to the site to experience their, their prairie, their ecosystem. And when they come out here, we, we don't just sit in a classroom and talk about it, we get them out into it. And so they are feeling it, they are, they are smelling it, they are tasting it. Um, they are experiencing it as much as they can possibly experience it. So there's a calf out there. There's a calf out there. And the calf, the calf is way down here. Do you see the calf laying down right next to its mama? And so when the calf was born, it was orange. All, calf, all bison babies are orange when they're born. And after about six weeks, they lose the, their baby orange coat and they get their brown coat. Why would they lose that baby orange coat and get a, get a thick, heavy brown coat? Because it's getting uh, bigger. It's getting bigger. Why would, why would they want a thick, heavy brown coat? But, oh, because uh, it's uh, so winter. Because winter is coming. People who don't know the tall grass prairie are missing out on something very, very special because the tall grass prairie has a story to tell you that you need to pay attention to see what's happening, whether it's the flowers changing or the clouds building and dissipating, the turkeys coming in or the turkeys leaving or the grasshoppers or the monarch butterflies. There's always a story to tell and it's worth paying attention to. Join us on our next adventure into the Flint Hills. Meet women who are truly at home on the range. Some of the engaging women of the Flint Hills.